What's up, Bit Army? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. So, a couple of days ago, I was in the city of Sheffield, which is famous for steel, as in steel production, the steel industry, but an arguably much more valuable export. Sean Bean! He keeps picking them. Well, don't. I'll chop your hand off. Good old scene, Bean. What a stud. Anyways, while I was in Sheffield, I figured I'd have time for a little bit of lunch, so I managed to find a food challenge which has only been completed a few times, it looked a little bit different, so I figured I'd go down, see if I could break the record. Hope you enjoy it. How long do you get to eat this? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. Is, yeah you get a whole 30 minutes. I assume a few people finished it? Yeah, not too many, not the waffle one anyway. Is it like a record time or anything? I think something like 12 minutes. It's okay, <laughs> right, so um, this place is called The Cabin, right? It's in yeah. Sheffield, uh, which is where I'm at today. I'm taking on their uh, waffle challenge. You get 30 minutes uh, to eat all this. Only a few people have done it. So, it looks delicious anyway, peanut butter and, uh, and banana, so give my best shot. I might make a bit of a mess, I'm going to warn you in advance. What's up Beard Army, welcome back and uh, today I'm in the city of Sheffield in South Yorkshire at the cabin to take on their waffle stack challenge. There's lots of peanut butter on it. Yeah, all right, I know what you're all thinking. Challenge? But actually this has been completed by surprisingly few people. You get 30 minutes to eat six delicious golden home-cooked waffles. Just drop some banana there. And they were pretty dense, pretty big. You get to choose three toppings. There are tons of toppings. I think there's like more than 20 that you can choose from. But I went with peanut butter, banana, and chocolate. That opening between your nose and your chin, your mouth. Let's have a look. Yeah, and as the, the waitress said there, the record was around 12 minutes. I actually looked online afterwards. I think it's 12 minutes 18 or, or something like that. And uh, I'm making pretty good headway here. I'm, you know, like almost halfway done after like three minutes, but apparently most people don't do this. I think it's been attempted like 40, 50 times or something like that. But actually I love um, challenges like this. You know, it's, it's not huge. I'm not going super fast because of all the discerning fellow diners around me, but it was a lot of fun. Three second rule. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, I don't know why I've left it to this point to start using cutlery, but I went for a fork to help mop up these last few slices of banana. And uh, if you're wondering what I said to those two girls that came in, I was just explaining that they could sit at the table opposite me because I'd actually left a couple of drinks on that table, so they thought it was occupied. So I was like, you know, yeah, no, you can sit there as long as you don't mind um, being in the blast radius. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're just, uh, we're just about to finish up now. I'm going to let you enjoy the hijinks afterwards once i finished. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video.
Does that count? Where did you put it? <laughs> oh, you got a neck this. Oh, do I have to bring that? Yeah. Sorry, my beard. No, you can come around and take a look if you want. Oh, it's legit. Yeah, I, I just stayed to watch. It wasn't really going to take him that long. I don't know, I might have put you off your dinner tonight. <laughs> wow, well done. Thank you. Right. Challenge. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Not sure if I'm just getting really good or if all these new eating challenges are just super easy. Probably the second thing. But fortunately, thanks to Lindsay, I got some calorie therapy on deck. There you go, fatty. So I'm gonna eat these and uh, do the Facebook Live Q&A for the month. Kill two birds with one stone and uh, pad out a little bit of this episode. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Robert Kirk, hey Beard, I'm visiting Five Guys for the first time next week, what do you suggest I get? When I go to Five Guys, pretty much my standard order, if I'm just going like casually, usually a double bacon cheeseburger all the way, that means you just get like mushrooms, I think tomatoes, lettuce and onions, uh, I get large Cajun fries and a peanut butter, Oreo and bacon milkshake. Oh man, I lost track already. Uh, Lee Munch Wardle, Bid, would you do a challenge with Randy Santel? Give us a shout out, please. Uh, I already did that, Lee. I don't know if you mean like another one. But I would do it again. Yeah, I love Randy. This was a bad idea. Eating while I'm doing this Q&A, but I just did a eating challenge, but it was like super easy. So easier than I expected. So I'm still kind of hungry. The beard looks better with every video. I think I'd have to disagree with you there, Mark. I will take the compliment kindly, but um, sometimes it looks terrible like today. But in my defense today, I just, I've not washed this since um, I did an eating challenge like three hours ago. Michael Bett, hey Adam, how do you prepare yourself for a challenge? Is there some sort of technique to stretch your stomach capacity the day before? It's not really the day before. Um, it's like a cumulative effect of doing this for years and years, which, is why, like, look at Joey Chestnut, right? He's been doing this, I don't know, what, 10, 10 years, maybe more? So he's, like, grown that stomach capacity over time. You can't really just do anything the day before. Uh, ever had a Shake Shack burger while in the US? Beats five guys, in my opinion. Uh, I have had it. I think you're wrong, Richard. I, I don't think it beats it. But I did enjoy it. And they do more desserts, like there's no desserts for Five Guys, right, just shakes. At least got um, shakes that you can get like ice cream and stuff. When you're doing the whole pig challenge, uh, as soon as I meet up with my buddy Wayne Alhenio, Weenie, Wo we Weenie Wonder, that doesn't make sense. Wait, wait, makes sense, but Weenie Wonder, um, next time I'm in New York, we're gonna, he's got it all figured out, we're gonna team up, take down a pig. Hey Beard, says Cat White. If you could have a meal with any three celebs, alive or dead, who would it be and why? Emma Watson, because... <sighs> it's Emma Watson. <laughs> um, Noam Chomsky, who's like a... I don't know what you would call him, really. Political theorist. And... Um, I don't know who the third would be. Arnold Schwarzenegger, obviously. What is a beard shake? Uh, it's just like a nickname I use for the milkshake that I order at Five Guys all the time, which is peanut butter, Oreo pieces, and bacon pieces. Sarah K. Larson, is your merch available yet? Afraid not, Sarah, but very, very soon, like days soon. So stay tuned. <laughs>